My dudes, today we have a mission. We are leaving northern Sri Lanka today and heading down south to what is essentially central Sri Lanka, but we have nothing booked and we have nothing planned. So who really knows how this is all gonna work out, but that's why they call it an adventure, right? Can't go anywhere without pants. But quickly, before I get too carried away with anything else, I need to try and repair my drone. Yesterday, I took it out for its maiden voyage in Sri Lanka. Something really messed up with the gimbal and the footage was basically unusable. It was so shaky. I was scared I broke it, but thanks to the help of Google, I think I found the solution. See the gimbal right here? I take it out of its case. There is a little bracket in the back and my gimbal was above it. With some quick repairs, I was able to place it below it and that's where it's supposed to be. So hopefully that was the issue in itself. If it was, then we will have some sick drone footage. If it was not, I've been carrying around a very expensive potato in my bag for the past month. Peace out then I, it's been awesome. Back on L bikes with the bags. I don't know how this is gonna work out, but we'll see. We're actually headed back to return the bikes before we leave Jaffna. How is it, Mike? It's not as bad as I was expecting it to be. It's more discomfort than uh, awkwardness. I really am gonna miss this bike, but hey, if you guys are in Jaffna, Sri Motors is the place to go. Super good bikes. L train station was not a great success actually. Figured out that they only are offering like a first class train to Annapurna, huh? Anuradhapura. Anuradhapura, which is where we want to go. And the first class train is significantly more expensive compared to like what transit usually is here. So he said that there's a bus not too far away. I guess we're gonna go check out the bus. That's the thing about traveling on this side of the world. There is very little information on all of this stuff. So we came here with literally no way of knowing that. Oh. Such a long walk in the boiling heat, but we finally reached the Jaffna bus loop. Let's see if we can find ourselves a bus. We're taking this, I believe it's about five hours, and it's taking us to Anadapura, which is basically the center of Sri Lanka. Headed to go buy some snacks for the bus before we leave. I wonder what I'm gonna get. Those definitely look like the move. Roti, veg rolls, that is the move. Got my goodies, should be good for a five hour bus ride. The train that they wanted us to catch was about a thousand rupees, so just under $10. But the bus that we're catching right now is about 200 rupees, so basically $2. In the grand scheme of things, I mean, that's not a huge savings, but you add that up over a ton of trips and traveling cheap definitely makes a difference. First local bus, are you excited? <laughs> it's pretty roasty in here. Feels kind of like we're inside of a pot. It's boiling. It's water. But instead of water, it's just hot air. It's quite nice. Did the tire pop? Oh my gosh. Nothing quite like a mid-journey tire change. Oh, there she goes. That is all part of the adventure though, right? So I guess fix the tire and we'll be on our way soon. So I have some good news, some bad news, and then some really good news. The good news is we took public transit successfully to where we wanted to go, which is Anapuratha. The bad news was we didn't actually want to go to Anapuratha. But the very good news is, is that there's another bus that's going to where we want to go, so one more bus. the bus and now we sit in the back of someone's pickup truck. <laughs> we arrived in Trinko which is where we actually wanted to go and uh, basically
basically it doesn't exist on Hostel World or Google or any of the other ways we would have normally found accommodation. So Mike and I just decided to head down the main street and this man came along with a business card, told us about his place and said I can take you to it, hop in the back of my truck, so that's what we're doing. We're going to check out his hotel, hopefully it's um, decent, but I mean. My dudes! We have arrived in Trincomalee and we got to the guy's hotel. Pretty nice, it's all we really need. So we told him we'd stay one night and figure out if we want to stay more. It's just when you get to somewhere super late at night and you don't really have any options, you have your bags on you, pretty stressful. So it was nice to have this kind of fall into our lap. He gave us a good deal, a thousand rupees each. So 2000 for the room, which is not too bad at all. It's like 20 bucks. So our mission today, I guess it kind of worked out, but in reality, it was, it was very jumbled. It's kind of funny how we got here. We started in Jaffna this morning and wanted to go to a place called Sigiria, which is in the center of Sri Lanka. The bus that we ended up taking took us to Annapurna, something like that. And that's good because we wanted to go there, but we didn't realize that Sigiria wasn't in that place. And so we actually didn't want to be there at all. And we were still like an hour away from Sigiria. So we ended up asking around and instead of going all the way there, we took a bus to Trincomalee on the east coast of Sri Lanka and eventually we'll make our way down to Sigiria. But until then, we're just gonna chill at the beach. So <laughs> let's go get food. Got our co-twos perfect for dinner. 